on the bomb 35 action just got a seat left to go we're gonna see if uh john wants to get her done look at this thing dude this thing is mint Suzuki LT 185 it, it, everything is mint but the seat we got to get a new seat or at minimum a cover look at the mileage on this bike 1,981 miles I mean she's a clean one and trust me it's dirty right now you can see when I clean this bike up and polish it she's a beaut I got a little bit more to do right here and I got a little little paint work to do on the pipe. It kind of burnt off. I gotta get some more heat paint. Better heat paint. Power wash the motor all clean again. All new gas lines. Need an oil change. But she's up on oil. I got really, really good oil in it. I'll show you guys what kind of oil I got in there right now. Good flush oil. Yeah. But I guess the friction. Well, what am I running? Right here. I'm running about eight ounces of that engine restore right there, which is real good for it. And then we're running uh full nope, we're running uh right here. Mobile one nope. Hey, right there. Mobile one I'm on fifteen fifty. Yes, I know it's thick. I guess they also have I know, it's a racing oil. But that's what I run, and then I'll thin it up. Right now, when I get, when I go to do the oil change for the third time, and flush the block, we're going back with 10:30. That's good for all the rest of this winter, and for the spring, summertime, I bump it up to about 20:50, or yeah, about 20:50, or even this. I'd go to 15:50, honestly. Because all they do is it's a it's a slip clutch, a, uh, you know, automatic clutch type, or centrifugal, whatever you want to call it. And them clutches get hot. So when they get hot, they need that heavy viscosity oil to keep them lubricated. Otherwise, you're just going to smoke the, the, the uh, clutch pads right off of this thing. But I got to go get a tail light today to get this headlight done. It works and everything like that, but... It's uh, the lens is cooked. I gotta get a new lens real quick and talk to the owner. See what he wants to do. Gotta get the tail light back. I got it, but it's got a crack in it. I don't want to put it on there. And then I got a big, another big one, but that's too big. So I'm gonna go looking right now. It's like 7:30, 8 o'clock in the morning. But this is one of them hell yeah brother videos. Brian's '99 Mustang. Been chilling since he's been in Florida. Coming back today, I believe. In my trailer. There's an 01 right there. That's an 01 Mustang Bullet. Meth injectors. Uh, it's it's got everything. Nitrous. Uh, I mean, that thing is nasty. 1970. Uh, what the hell is that? A, a Super B. 440 Max Wedge Motor. The first Hemi. Max Wedge 440. Or no, it's not a Hemi, it's a Max Wedge 440. Big block. That thing has got straight up. I'm not even kidding you guys. I, I put this car kind of piece it back together for the owner so we can move it. Yeah, you're looking at them. It's got straight up wheelie bars, dude. Look at the rear end in this thing. Look at the shocks. I mean, this thing is absolutely badass. Badass. I'm going to uh, help the owner of this out. It's a, a friend of mine. I know her. She's pretty nice. She owns that bullet right there, too. I'm thinking about, you know, buying that bullet right there. I'm not going to have every penny she wants up front, but I'll have a damn good portion of it. So, if you're listening, by any chance, Marlene, Dan, or anybody like that, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to come to you guys with a proposal on this one here. But it's a hell yeah brother video. It's all around hunter bike. It's quiet. It's automatic five speed with reverse. I mean, how much better can you get? That's a $2,500 bike. No problem. Hell yeah. Now, let me show you. This thing ran like garbage when I first got it to run. 
And I've been tuning on the carburetor for like three months, but not literally tuning on the carburetor for that long, but uh, chokes down. Here's the puller. Well, here's the uh, compression release right here. Decompressor. Because this thing's got compression. It bangs right off. The only problem is, once I flush this block out, I think it'll cut that out. A lot of that steam... But some of that is actual blue smoke because I, I watched the oil level go down over the 16 miles that I put on. So, on the bond, 35 out. 